Hi guys, welcome back, welcome back. Amberlynn, you're a fake. Don't ever talk to me again. And that's how you build friendships. In the middle of the night, sucking up. You're supposed to be my friend, you dumb two-faced. She's fake. Just lost your chance at a... <laughs> I can see, honestly, I don't even know how people... I don't even know how people watch you. To be honest, you're so boring. Go f and Berlin, we've kind of just like, we're just talking. She's got a good heart. Could buy another g journal. So I think I'm an empath. She's got a good heart. You're so boring. Pathetic. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. People are wrong about her in a lot of ways. Nurse, clear my schedule. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Actually, yes, I am, and I don't want to see one. I ain't scared of no ghost. Just remember, I'm the one that holds the nuts. You know Amberlynn Reed? Foodie Beauty? Hello, everybody. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Foodie Beauty's new live stream where she completely, completely trashed Amberlynn, her ex-friend, and blocked Amberlynn. So basically, two fake friends finally admitted that they were fake friends. I've been saying this for how long and no one would believe me. Okay, they were never friends. Chantal was just saying how amazing Amber was last week. Now that Amber did something bad for her, Chantal is screaming about loyalty, expose Amberlynn's text. And Amberlynn out here apologizing to Natter, who called her names, who's been calling her friend names. They're both fake friends. Listen, every single thing I'm going to be saying in today's video are my own opinions, not facts, based on public... Statements made by public figures on the internet. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Please do not take anything I say seriously. This is not a serious video. Look at this goat. This is Foodie Beauty's goat. <laughs> and most importantly, please do not leave anyone mention any mean-spirited, negative, discouraging comments. This is a video in which you will find out that, yes, I was right. For over a year, I had said on my channel that Amber Lynn and Foodie Beauty were never real friends. I had said continuously that I did not believe that Amber's intentions were like a, like a regular friends would be. And that because Amber Lynn never defended Foodie Beauty and the things that they both said about each other, I knew that it was a fake friendship. And what I sometimes heard was, oh, you're just doing this for views and clues. Big, did you just create a fake feud? <laughs> How you like me now? Hey, Amberlynn, you're a fake, sir. Don't ever talk to me again. Ever. What the? F In the middle of the night, sucking up. You're supposed to be my friend, you dutter. You're sucking up to a piece of. Good luck. Yes, I'm raging. And you're all gonna. Amberlynn pops into his friggin' chat and is like, I'm so sorry. She's the fakest girl on YouTube, and I can completely see what people see now. Like, it's so pathetic. She's a friggin' idiot. She's goes in what's his face. She's obviously desperate for everyone is fake as a meal liar and fake. Are you kidding me? Okay, Amber Lynn went into Natter's live stream and said this and this is definitely Amber Lynn here's the check mark to prove it because she's verified my subs call me an arc too I shouldn't have said that so I apologize I do love Chantal but I also find you and Didi to be entertaining <laughs> thanks for nothing okay you're supposed to be Chantal's friend you find it entertaining that this man has continuously called Chantal names compared her to terrible things that the woman that you find entertaining Didi is saying that she's suing your friend Chantal you need to pick a side and stick to it Anne Boleyn. why are you on these people's side you find this man to be entertaining when he's done nothing but trash your supposed best friend and your supposed best friend Chantal is actually stalking him and they're in a massive YouTube drama okay here's what foodie uh posted about Amber she also uh, I'll show you right away she posted their private text messages foodie says liar Lynn basically saying her therapist <laughs> how interesting that all of a sudden you know that name that people use for her oh it's almost as if you've been ignoring what people have been saying Chantal Chantal is not loyal and it's ridiculous to see Chantal talking about loyalty when she was out there saying Amber had a good heart last week and all of a sudden now she's bad. Mm -hmm. So Amber Lynn basically saying her therapist advised her to apologize to someone she insulted months ago who has no relevance in your life. Oh, and did your therapist also advise you <laughs> to add that you found beige and gray entertaining? 
Uh, I'm moving to another planet. Bye. Okay, so are you moving to another planet with Amberlynn and Wifey? Because Amberlynn kept saying she was moving to another planet. Here's their private text messages. Uh, Chantal, foodie beauty, texted Amber, said, is that you, the F? This is Amberlynn's answer, everybody. I had an appointment with my psychologist. All of a sudden, you take your psychologist appointment seriously today. And I had an emotional breakdown about the thing I am dealing with lately and the constant H. Right. Okay, delete your social media and stop harassing Becky. Amberlynn is saying that Becky is a liar on Instagram. Do you not think that you've been like harassing a public figure? Kind of good, kind of bad. My psychologist told me that I need to apologize to him because I was getting um, threats from some weird person on Instagram about calling him. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Anne Boleyn, you're getting threats. Call FBI Frank. Everybody, this is FBI Frank. Frank. Frank, I've always known I would find you here. Frank, are you closing your eyes because you know you're going to be on YouTube? Sorry, you've been exposed. Frank, yeah, that's, mm hmm Thanks for the yawn. Okay, so basically, uh, Amber Lynn says that the FBI complimented her and her following, and she has a close personal relationship with, uh, you know, FBI Frank, this, this FBI agent. Why don't you call him? Why are you out here supporting Natter over here, okay? Um, Chantal, why can't I choose my mental health? I felt like I needed to apologize because I'm not the type of person to do something like that. Amber Lynn, you are the type of person, because you did do this, to go into a stream and tell Natter that you like his cooking. You did say that a few months ago. You said you like Natter's cooking when Chantal was still on good terms with Natter. Then, when she was no longer on good terms with Natter, the next day, Anne Boleyn went and called him a narcissist. When you say, Amber, I'm trying to be as fair as possible, but when my favorite YouTuber ever in life, very entertaining, riveting Anne Boleyn Reed, says that she's not the type of person to do that, you are the type of person to do that. Chantal and Amber are fake friends. And... Chantal is only trashing her now, Amber, because it's convenient for her. Last week, you were saying that she had a good heart. Amberlynn, if you wanted to choose your mental health, why have you not disabled the comments on your videos? Why have you not let social media? I am speaking from personal experience. I used to never have comments on my videos, so I feel like I'm uniquely qualified to talk about this topic because I already did it. If you want to know, you make a little bit less money, but you make pretty decent money, even when your comments are disabled. So basically, and sometimes people get enraged that your comments are disabled and they talk about you more and you make more money. The point I'm trying to make is, if she cared about her mental health, Amberlynn, in my opinion, she would disable her comments. She's not, because she said before in a video that she's going to make less money. And delete your social media. Leave social media. There is a way for Amberlynn not to get any comments on Instagram and on her YouTube channel and still make good money on YouTube. And she refuses to do that. You're not putting your mental health first. You just betrayed your best friend who actually was not your friend, who is now exposing you on YouTube and has been lying about you to her audience for a long time. I love these two. I love foodie booty, Amberlynn read drama. If you agree, leave it in the dislikes in the comment section. Well, excuse me. I have feelings and I have a lot of feelings. Are you kidding me? No, Amberlynn is not two-faced. She's fake. I can see, honestly, I don't even know how people, I don't even know how people watch you. To be honest, you're so boring. Go from book and buy another gu journal. Amberlynn, we kind of just like, we're like just having talked, as somebody, I've talked to her for like years now behind the scenes. And that's how you build friendships. So I think I'm an empath. Just talking. She's got a good heart. She's got a good heart. People are wrong about her in a lot of ways. You're so boring. Go buy another god journal, you idiot. Oh, really, Chantal? Well, does anyone want to see what foodie beauty Chantal said about Amberlynn a week ago? Because I still have the clip, and this was always a fake friendship. You said that Amberlynn had a good heart, and that everybody was wrong about a lot of the stuff that they were saying about her. You did say, this is why I told you it was a fake friendship, that some of the things that people said about Anne Boleyn was true. People are wrong about her in a lot of ways. Maybe right in a lot of other ways. Maybe right in a lot of other ways. And I'm fine with it. But you said that she had a good heart. So let me get this straight. This whole time she was encouraging you to be with Natter, here's some old screenshots from when Foodie Beauty met Natter. Natter was giving Foodie Beauty substances, and Amberlynn still encouraged her to be with Natter, knowing what Natter was about in the beginning, right? Knowing what he was already doing to Chantal. Here's the screenshots. I still have them. 
where Amberlynn was encouraging Foodie Beauty to be with, with Natter, okay? So knowing that Amberlynn had a fake friendship with you, you said that she had a good heart last week, but now that she supposedly betrayed you, uh, you know, now she's bad. Which one is it? Both the yous are wrong, and both the yous had a fake friendship, and everybody here knows it, especially the repeating guy. Fake friendship, Yes, it was her. I texted her. She's like, I saw my psychiatrist and I've been having problems and they told me I should apologize to Natter. Okay, that was funny. She is a pathological liar. She is a pathological liar. I see it. And that's how you build friendships. But she's not a bad person. But she's not a bad person. No. I see it now. I see it now. Pathological two-faced. It was her. Yes, it was. I texted her. She texted me back with some burr. Go eat another chicken sausage, you friggin' weirdo. Are you actually shaming your supposed friend for what she eats? That I'm not gonna stand for. You're like making a, a wild... <laughs> ...nashies all the time. And you're out here trying to tell me that she needs to eat a chicken or whatever sausage? First of all, how come no one brings me any cheese? You know, you come here, bring a piece of cheese. Second of all, Chantal, this is ridiculous. You were never her friend. Now you're hitting it where it hurts. By the way, I've made plenty of videos where I talked about how I thought it was wrong that Chantal mentioned Amberlynn's weight. This is not the first time. Do not shame Amberlynn for what she eats when you have an honorary membership with Nashies. Like, how does one person that enjoys Nashies like trash what another person eats. How are you guys friends? How do you expect anybody to take this seriously? Uh, quiet, you. Quiet, you. I don't care, Amberlynn. Goodbye. Okay, so just so you understand what happened right here, Amber Lynn came into Foodie Beauty's chat at like four something a.m., right? She came in and she tried to talk to Chantal and F Chantal Foodie Beauty blocks Amber. You see how it says message deleted? She blocked Amber, this is the moment that she blocked her. Honestly, this is a fake friendship. And Amberlynn, honestly, you've made your choice. Your choice is Natter versus Chantal. Now, I'm not saying that I blame you per se, but I'm just saying, let it go, Amberlynn, okay? Let it go. Weirdo, goodbye. I'm done. I am blocking every toxic human out of my effing life. I find you and Dee entertaining. Really? Just like a hundred other people? You like you like hearing sycophantic mmm natter? Really? Huh, I pfft. hey. Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> and there again another pathological liar. Now I know why you like him. She actually went in the chat and she's like, My psychiatrist said I'm a narc too. Or no, she's like, people say I'm a narc too. Hey girl. Oh my god. She went in there and she's like, I'm sorry, um, I'm a narc too. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. People say I'm a narc too. Uh, I, uh, uh, <laughs> that's so messed up and she calls herself a friend. That would be like if she had Becky. Oh, and yeah, she's not a friend. She's a, she's an abuse sympathizer. On the topic of did Amber betray Foodie Beauty? Yes, I know everybody doesn't like Foodie Beauty's behavior. I'm one of these people. I think her stalking and pretty much harassing and massively stalking Natter is wrong. That being said. Looking at Amber's behavior and looking at Foodie's behavior, because these two people, a lot of, like, the audience has a lot of opinions on them, so I want you to do me one favor. Forget about Chantal and Amber. Pretend that it's you and your friend, or me and my friend. If your ex, even though, yes, he wasn't Foodie Beauty's boyfriend, Natter, okay, if your ex did a lot of bad stuff to you and your supposed good friend went supporting that person publicly and saying that that guy and his girlfriend are entertaining, how would you feel? It's understandable that Foodie Beauty feels betrayed because Amber did betray her. That being said, so yes, you did betray Foodie Beauty. You're not a real friend to 
Chantal, despite that everybody doesn't care for Chantal, Amber has made her choice. At, at the same time, I have to be fair and I have to say that Chantal is not Amber's friend because she was just saying how amazing she was. She had a, had, got, had a great heart. Everything was fine. And now you're just trashing Amber Lynn and shaming her for everything that other people have shamed her for. Like, you can't just be best friends last week and this week when she supports Natter, you're not best friends. The point is, as I've said from the very beginning and people doubted me, these two people were never good friends. They were never real friends. It was an alliance for YouTube so other people wouldn't, like, you know, trash them. And now the alliance and the facade and the smoke and mirrors, it's up. Don't be having no surprise Pikachu face that she's not really your friend, Chantal. When was the last time you hung out with her? Stop eating those nuts. <laughs> no shame if that's uh, your best option. And Anne Boleyn, you knew you were never her friend. You just drew the line and that you're on Natter's side. Both of yous were never real friends. You both betrayed each other. And honestly, this is comical. The two people that had a YouTube alliance where Foodie Beauty trashed Amber Lynn when Amber Lynn started first getting popular. There's an old deleted video from Foodie trashing that Amber used the scooter. It's comical that they try to pretend that they were friends. That's why Becky dumped Amber as a friend too. She was talking about Becky. She's one of those pathological weirdos. I don't know, I can't be pe I mean, I don't talk to her like on a really regular basis, like, but no, that would be like me going and like sucking up to Becky or something, you know? When you show me who you really are, I believe you when I really see it. And now I see it. She finds them entertaining and apologizes, exactly. And then she has the nerve to text me and be like, can I choose my own mental health? My, my therapist said that it's not something I would normally do, so I should apologize. Okay, and, but then you say that you find them entertaining. So you find my they entertaining, really? Okay, so two things. As far as the Becky situation, yes, Amberlynn continued to trash her ex Becky, saying, oh, she doesn't travel anywhere but her sister's backyard. She continued to poke and poke and poke at Becky, and finally Becky made a video saying that it's not her fault that Amber was questioning. Amberlynn went with her girlfriend on Instagram saying that, you know, Becky's a liar. Becky has recently unfollowed Amberlynn on Instagram, we talked about that before on her kind of good kind of Beck art. And basically, yeah, she's done with her. And it is ridiculous to try to befriend somebody who has hurt your friend. Yes, Chantal is wrong. But as far as that last thing that Chantal said, look, this is what Chantal has put out there. It's up to you what you want to think about it. Chantal has said that Nada has hurt her and... If Amber was Chantal's friend, even if she wanted to apologize to Natter, she could have always wrote him a private message on Instagram and apologized to him if she wanted to do it privately. She wanted to embarrass Foodie Beauty publicly. I don't understand. This is what I don't get about these two fake friends. If Amber knows what Natter did to Chantal, if Amber knows that, how could you, how could you say that you find a person like that entertaining? I need to, I have, you know what? I went to my therapist and they told me it's not something I would normally do. So I have to apologize and go tell them they're entertaining. Does that make any sense? Like, okay, now I see it. People are powerful. I, I honestly, I honestly, like, barely watch her vlogs. Good evening. And now I see what people are saying. Logical liar. She's a pathological liar. That's just like making up lies on the spot. So is he. He's like that too. Blame you. Because you're just like him, I'm sure. A therapist wouldn't recommend going into a stream at 4 a.m. to apologize to someone who is irrelevant. <laughs> Amber Lynn, I'm like grossed right out. My, I'm sorry, Chantal, I love you, but my therapist told me that I was going through crisis and my therapist told me that since uh, this is not something that I know, would normally do, uh, calling him a narcissist, I, I felt that uh, I needed to go into his live stream at four in the morning and tell them they're entertaining. She didn't say that last part, but that's basically like, like, what? 
Look, she just keeps saying the same thing over and over and over again about Amber. So we're going to have to end it here for part one. I probably may do a part two because there's more to the stream than just Amber and her raging about Amber. She also raged about Natter. Look, two things. I understand that Chantal took back her accusations. I know Chantal took back her accusations about Natter. I understand that. But the bottom line is a real friend would just not support her friend's ex. And I agree with what, uh, you know, Chantal actually said here. This is like a first. What therapist would recommend for Anne Boleyn to go at 3 a.m. into a public chat and apologize? Now, if, if it's true, maybe the therapist said you need to make amends, you know, message the person. Not at 4 a.m., but I don't know if you guys know Anne Boleyn finally fixed her sleeping schedule. Uh, the point is... Two fake friends fighting over a fake non-existent friendship. Thank you very much. I wish Chantal and Amberlyn all the best. Amberlyn, stay away from Chantal. You guys were never friends. Chantal, keep raging on. Keep raging. Okay, whatever. I don't care. At the end of the day, it's ludicrous that these two people are fighting over something that was never even there. I said it. I called it a year ago. I've been saying it for this entire year. Smoke and mirrors, in my opinion. Fake friendship that culminated in a fake drama. By the way, watch Amberlynn clap back to foodie booty. Amberlynn, you want to save your channel? Definitely clap back to her. Create more drama. And at the end of the day, how is anyone supposed to take a fake friendship that never existed in the first place? Seriously, I can't. Anyways, leave your comments, thoughts below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos. If you enjoyed today's video, they will be popping up here. I wish everyone mentioned all the best. And you know, I will see you very, very soon on the next one. Thanks so much for being here. Bye.